All right, hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a Minecraft server for free. Before this video begins, if you guys could leave a like, it would be greatly appreciated and would help get this video out to more people and help more people out with making a Minecraft server. All right, so the first step is we wanna go ahead and go to Google and search for Minecraft server. Now, once we search for Minecraft server, we're gonna to wanna to go to this download the Minecraft Java edition server. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're downloading this from minecraft.net. I'll have a link to this in the description down below. But basically we want to scroll down to where it says download minecraft underscore server 1.17.1 now this is going to show a different number depending on what current version of minecraft is out at the moment 1.17 is the current version of minecraft as of making this video but it might be something different in the future so it might be 1.18 or 1.19 whatever the version is you just want to make sure that you go ahead and download this all right so once we downloaded the server.jar we need to go to our desktop and create a new folder now i'm currently using windows 11 but this will work on windows 10 just go ahead and go to your desktop stop and create a new folder and we're going to call this folder server but you can call it whatever you want and in our server folder we're going to want to go ahead and drag this server.jar now once we do this we want to double click on the server.jar and once you have double clicked on the server.jar we should have four files in total here they might take a couple seconds or minutes to show up depending on how fast your computer is but what we want to do is open up this eula text document and for this eula setting here we want to set this to true so instead of false we're going to say eula equals true and and then we're going to want to save this document. Now, if we go ahead and double click on the server.jar file again, it'll take a couple seconds to load up and you might get this pop-up asking about the firewall. Just go ahead and check private networks and click on allow access. And now we have a lot more files that are in our folder here, as well as this little window that has our memory usage, as well as our log and chats. Now that we have all of these files, we can open up the server.properties file and we want to use notepad to open this up. Here we can change a bunch of different settings about our Minecraft server, such as the game mode, we can change this to be default creative if we want. We can also change the name of the server to be let's say my server we can add a whitelist we can set pvp to true or false just a bunch of different settings that we can modify before we start up our server now currently it's saying preparing spawn area when you load up your server for the very first time it does take a long time for it to prepare the spawn but after that every time you launch your server it should be pretty fast so once you see done in the chat log that means our minecraft server is now up and we can join it so let's go ahead and open up minecraft now we want to go to the multiplayer section and click on add server and here we want to type in for the server address local host then we want to click on done and now when we join our server through our server list we can see that we can now look around break blocks so on and so forth now if we want to op ourselves and give us the ability to get creative mode we can type op and then our username so my username is prism productive and now we can see in the logs made prism productive a server operator so if we go back to minecraft now i have the ability to change my game mode so i can say game mode survival and i can change to survival mode i can also do game mode creative to switch back to creative mode and that is basically how you can run a minecraft server for free now if you want to invite friends to your server all you have to do is give them your ip address but you have to be very careful and make sure that you only give your ip address to people you are very close with and friends and people that you can trust you do not want to give out your ip address to anybody that you don't trust but basically once you give them your ip they'll be able to join your server through their server list and that is basically all there is to it i hope this video helped you guys out if it did please leave a like and if you want your server to be automatically set up for you with 24 7 hosting check out apex hosting. Apex Hosting is a Minecraft server hosting website that offers hosting for both Java and Bedrock Edition with 24-7 support, mod and plugin support, and over 200 one-click modpack installers. So if you want to check out Apex Hosting, I'll have a link in the description down below.